Hi and welcome to this video on using the calculator with trigonometry. Uh, it is the next in the series on right angled triangles. Uh, previously we looked at the trig ratios and now we're looking at how to use the calculator in terms of those. Uh, a couple of things to note however in terms of this uh, we're going to be introducing a couple of new little concepts uh, such as degrees and minutes and seconds when measuring the size of angles. So the biggest things to come out of this one uh, is one degree. Okay, so one whole degree uh, is going to be equal to 60 minutes. All right, so the breakdown of a degree, the pieces that make up a degree, well, they're called minutes, okay? Uh, so it's 60 minutes in one degree. And we can also write that as one degree equals 60 minutes. The other part is that we can actually break down minutes into parts as well. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Uh, so this is just like how time works, where a degree would be like an hour. Okay, and then you know you break down your hour into 60 minutes and then your minute into 60 seconds. Very similar in trigonometry. All right, so one minute equals 60 seconds. So there are our new symbols. So we have the little circle for degree, we have uh, the apostrophe for minute, and we have the quotation mark for seconds. Okay, so they're degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, the key that we are going to use on the calculator for this the key we're using on the calculator is the degrees, minutes, seconds button. Uh, and this button will either look like DMS, right, for degrees, minutes, seconds, or it will have the actual symbols themselves. So degrees, minutes, seconds. Okay, so they're the two buttons that you need to look for on your calculator. Uh, and You'll see that as we work through uh, the examples for this particular section. Let's get started on some examples now that we've covered the very basics of this. Okay, so here we have some examples. We actually have four examples. Uh, showing at the moment are three examples. Uh, one of the extra bits and pieces that we do, we have three other buttons that we need to use. All right, uh, three other buttons, and we have the sign button, the cos button, and the tan button. So these are the buttons we are going to use to actually find the values of these particular um, sign ratios or, or trig ratios. All right. So our first example there is sine of 60 degrees. And just a reminder that our examples come from the Cambridge Mathematics Standard 1 textbook. Uh, we've got sine 60 degrees, so we go straight to our calculator. We find the button of sine, and then we type in sine 60 degrees and hit equals. So sine 60 degrees and hit equals. Uh, and then if we write that down, so sine of 60 degrees, all right, and we should get something looking a little bit like this. Okay, so 0.866025. Yeah, only problem is we only want two decimal places. We only want two decimal places, so we are going to uh, simplify this. Um, or round it down to uh, be a bit more specific. We are going to round this problem. 
So to do that, I'm just going to grab a quick color and I'm going to find that second decimal place. So here's my decimal point here. I'm going to go one, I'm going to go two. Now I'm just going to chuck a little line in there uh, just to cut that number um, off at that decimal point or that decimal place. Uh, so I can actually do my rounding. Now I'm looking at this next number. Okay, I might put that arrow in a different spot. Okay, that number is a six. So when we're coming to rounding, particularly in decimals, all right, uh, all we need to do really is we need to look at what is halfway. All right, so what is halfway of that particular place value? Uh, in terms of decimals, halfway is five. So we look for, is it five or above, or is it four and below? Five and above, four and below, okay? So we have zero, one, two, three, four. The number in front of that little purple dotted line will stay the same. If it is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, that little, that number just in front of that dotted line will actually go up by one. But it is only that number that is affected, except in some very special cases. Uh, so we now have eight. So in here we have our number. So this is uh, six, which is in the five or above category. Okay, so it's five or above. So that means that my uh, six in front of the dotted line becomes a seven. So it's now 0 0.8. Seven, And let's do this a couple of times as we're going through. We need to round off as we're going through and you'll see how this works with minutes and seconds as well uh, very, very shortly. So here's our second example. Our second example is 2 cos 45.5 degrees. And again, we're going to find our cos button. Find our cos button. Uh, then we're going to just type in 2 cos 45.5, hit our equals, and we should get something looking a little bit like this. Okay, and again, we have too many decimal places. So again, I'm going to go 1, 2, and do my little dotted line. Hit the right green. And I look at that number there, this one is a one which is four or below in that category in the four or below category so what does that mean for our zero our zero is going to stay the same it's not going to be affected at all so essentially what we're doing is we're looking at that number and we're saying is it closer to the one below or closer to the one above Okay, so we're looking at is it closer to the one below, closer to the one above. That's why we like halfway as a pretty good sign. Closer to the one below, so we are going to get 1.40. And it is absolutely fine to finish off a problem uh, with a decimal place that has a zero in it uh, because we have been asked specifically for two decimal places. When you're asked specifically, you must provide them. Okay. Let's have a look at two more examples just to show that we can do this in a different, a couple of different ways. All right, so it's three over ten seventy-five degrees. Don't worry about where that degree symbol is; uh, it's just slightly in the wrong spot. So three ten seventy-five. We're going to type that into our calculator again. We're going to use the fraction key this time, though, with the three on top and the ten seventy-five underneath. Find your ten key. Um, Type that in, easy as, and then we have 0 0.8038. For now, these numbers may continue on. That's okay. We just need a few just to make sure that we can get to that second decimal place. Speaking of which, we go 1, 2, little dotted line. Look at my number here. This one is a three, three is in the four or below category. So my zero in front stays the same yet again. So 
can we do our approximately equal to because it is rounded 0 0.80 we have one last problem to work on for this part of the um, section uh, so this one is sine 34 degrees 20 minutes sine 34 degrees 20 minutes okay and we're going to do exactly the same thing only this time we're also going to include that degrees minutes seconds button that we spoke about earlier once we've done that we've typed that straight into the calculator we should get something looking a little bit like this okay it should look a little bit like that and we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did before we're going to grab our different color go one two and there we cut off our decimal place here we go it is a four so again it's in that four or below category that four or below category what does that mean for our six well it doesn't get affected anymore because that four is closer to the six than it is to the seven uh, if that makes any sense to you so it's always about that halfway point and we want to keep it like that so that one is all about uh, finding those values uh, of those tree ratios when you are given the angle size already now this video is going to stop and we are going to do a second video uh, the second video will be using the uh, calculator instead of having the trig ratio including the angle or given the angle we're going to look at that uh, trigonometry using the calculator when you are not given the angle when you're given the actual ratio itself and you have to find the angle so we'll look at that in the next video thanks for watching